Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Holly and today I am going to be doing a very exciting video about LGBT book recommendations. Some will be recommendations, some I didn't like that much, but on the whole we have got a good selection of books to get through which you may have heard of some of them, you may haven't have heard of some of them, but we have got 15 books to get through today, so let's get into it. So the first book on my list is a classic book, which is Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda. This one looks a little bit different because this is my arc, as I have lent my actual copy out to one of my friends. This is one of my favourite books, it was the book that introduced everyone to Becky L. Batali, uh, Love, Simon is such a cute film, if you haven't seen it already, go and watch it because that, you will cry, you will cry. So it tells the story of Simon and he is closeted gay and he is emailing another kid from school who uses the name Blue and Simon gradually realises that he might have feelings for Blue. This book is really good as it tackles um, LGBT issues, especially in a high school environment. And it also tackles the whole aspect of coming out and being outed as well. So trigger warning for being outed in this book. The next book on my list is This Book is Gay by Juno Dawson. So this is a factual book which tells you everything you need to know about the LGBT community from different labels people may use to how people have sex um, and it's just really interesting. Juno Dawson is a trans writer herself and has written many other books that are both fictional and non-fiction and this for a non-fiction book is one of my favourites. It has taught me a lot about the community and has helped me discover different things about myself as well so I definitely recommend this one if you are interested in the LGBT community, if you might be struggling with your identity and you need some help, definitely this book is the way to go. The next book on my list is Tipping the Velvet by Sarah Waters. Sarah Waters as an author was recommended to me by one of my creative writing tutors who I have just had in my third year of university as she is a lesbian writer. Um, this was her debut, it came out 20 years ago and is about a girl who falls in love with a male impersonator. So it also kind of tackles gender issues as well. It is an adult book, so if you are kind of like under the age of probably 17, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. There's a lot of sex, which I was shocked by. There were some bits in this book which I really, really enjoyed, other bits which I didn't as such, but um, I, on the whole, I really enjoyed this book and would definitely recommend this and Sarah Waters' other novels as well. So the next book I haven't got a physical copy of, but that is The Symptoms of Being Human by Jeff Garvin. My girlfriend recommended it to me and um, they lent it to me and I flew through it. It was amazing. So it tells the story of Riley, who is a non-binary character. You don't find out throughout the book what Riley's sex is, which is really interesting because you don't need to know it. I really enjoy it because it kind of discusses how non-binary people um, feel about gender, how they sometimes they may experience dysphoria, sometimes they might, in, some days they might feel more feminine, others they might feel more masculine. So it's a really interesting read and is one of the, I think the only book that I've ever read featuring a non-binary character. So I really, really love it and Jeff Garvin's writing style is brilliant, 10 out of 10. The next book is another non-fiction book and that is Secrets for the Mad by Dodie. Now, if you don't know, Dodie is a YouTuber who is very open about her bisexuality and about her mental health issues. I don't tend to read books written by YouTubers just because I don't really watch many popular ones. I tend to stick to booktubers and fan videos 
but Jodie is one of my favourite YouTubers because of her content and she's an incredible singer as well. Um, so this book kind of goes through various different things. It is a um, autobiography um, so she does talk about mental illness in this which trigger warning for but she also discusses bisexuality and I think it's nice that um, she has written a book and she is bisexual and she is so open with discussing it so yes definitely would recommend this book. The next book on my list was actually a university read and that is Hotel World by Ali Smith. Ali Smith is also a lesbian writer who I think has also um, discussed her gender as being quite fluid as well. So this was a really interesting read. I'm not a big fan of stuff that I have to read for my studies, but I probably will do a video at some point about books from university that I have really enjoyed because there are some that I probably would never have read had it not been for university, but this book is one of them. So Hotel World tells the story of five different characters that all live, well they don't live, but some of them live there, some of them stay there, some of them live outside this hotel. And the first character falls in love with a girl in a watch shop, but the first character is a ghost that haunts the hotel. It doesn't necessarily discuss sexuality in um, terms of there being an actual relationship in this um, but it does discuss her love for this girl um, and it is it's quite sad as well and it's very interesting all of the characters are really compelling so yeah I would definitely recommend this book I'd love to read more of Ali Smith's work so if you know any other books that you think I might enjoy by her, leave me a comment below and I will look into them. The next book I don't have a physical copy either but that is Every Heart a Doorway by Seanan McGuire. It is part of a series, I've only read the first book which is Every Heart a Doorway but it features a, a sec uh, an asexual main character and a trans character as well. Um, it's a fantasy book wh where um, children go into different worlds and when they come back from these worlds people don't believe them so they get sent to this almost like a school, it's like a house for like wayward children um, who have been to these worlds and have experienced it. So it is really interesting and I'd love to be able to read the rest of this series when I get the chance to, but I would definitely recommend it. The next book is the first and probably the biggest disappointment that I'm going to be discussing today, and that is Yellow by Lena Dunham. Ne Le what? Lena Nottingham? Who's she? <laughs> so... I think I picked this up because it was recommended as a good lesbian fiction on Tumblr and this book is so pretty, like look at that, and the back is so cute and I just, I really wanted it and if you couldn't guess, my favourite colour is also yellow so I needed a book called Yellow about lesbians, of course. It wasn't good. I gave it... <laughs> probably like one or two stars on Goodreads, I can't remember, and I did leave a very salty review. And someone came back to me to say this was originally a fan fiction on Wattpad about um, Lauren Haregi and Camila, Cabe Camila Cabello, I think, on from Fifth Harmony. Um, but just in this book their names have been changed. I didn't like it because it read too much like a fan fiction. It was very... It was quite ableist as well and I just... I just wanted it to be cute and fluffy and it wasn't and I DNF'd it because I just couldn't, I, I got like over 100 pages in and I just, I couldn't deal with it. The writing style was terrible 
Um, so, yeah, I wouldn't recommend this unless you are a Fifth Harmony fan and you ship them, in which case, go ahead. But the next book was also a different a disappointment which I discussed in my last video if you haven't watched it already and that is More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera. Like I said in my last video this is the only book by Adam Silvera I've ever read and I really like his writing style I just really didn't like the story that came with this um but yeah it features a gay main character or a bi main character I don't really know it was very confusing and you know, um, but yeah, Aaron refers to himself as gay, I suppose, and he has a girlfriend, so it's kind of like he doesn't know yet, and then he meets Thomas, and he's like, oh, I love this boy, and he starts to get feelings for him, um, but yeah, if you want to check out my last video, what I read on my holiday, this book is on it, and I will discuss it in more detail on there, because... I'm just not happy with this, but yeah. The next book on the list, you guys all know I love. I have lent it to my girlfriend, so I don't have it with me, but that is Queens of Geek by Jen Wilde. I'm part of a book club now, so that's exciting, and that is the book that we will be discussing on Saturday, which is very exciting. I love it because it is an own voices, um, novel um featuring a bisexual main character um and it also has an asexual an asexual no an autistic main character as well and gem wild is both bi and autistic it is set at a sort of comic con as well and it's really cute and fluffy and just very heartwarming so I definitely would recommend it and if you want you can go check out my proper review I'll leave links wherever I leave links the next book on this list is lies we tell ourselves by Robin Talley Robin Talley is also a lesbian author Um, this is the only book of hers that I have read although I've been recommended loads of other books by her so I will definitely be looking into them but this is set in 1959 in America and is about um, a girl called Sarah who is one of the first black students as part of an integration program into a um, predominantly white school so Race is another thing that is discussed in this book as well as sexuality. Sarah does end up feeling feel, feels for this other girl whose name I think is Linda um, and it's really cute. There is a lot of racism in it so definitely trigger warning for that. But it's really cute and you know interracial relationships as well as queer relationships we stand. The next book I also don't have a physical copy of because, well I do, but I have lent it to someone and that is Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. As you guys know, Rainbow Rowell is an author that I hold near and dear to my heart and Carry On is one of my favourite books ever. So it's kind of a bit like, the best way I can describe it is kind of like Harry Potter but it isn't. It's better. So it's set at a wizardry school and is about a boy called Simon Snow who shares a dorm room with a vampire called Baz. They later realize they have feelings for each other and it is so, so cute and I just love it and I'm ready for the next book but I'm also not. I'm terrified. But yeah, it is so heartwarming and I think I am so ready to reread it. So the second I get that book back, I, I'm going to be, you won't hear from me until I have finished that book. The next book I am discussing, I also discussed in my last video because I read this on holiday as well. And you guys know how much I love it. It is The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue. I bought the sequel for this the other day. Um, it doesn't come out until October, sadly. Um, but there is another book 
as well that Mackenzie Lee has written so if you like pre-order the book and send her evidence you get a copy of her brand new novella as well which I think is set after this as well and explores the relationship between Percy and Monty so if you don't know what this is about and you haven't read my last video the um, book is set in the 1700s and tells the story about Henry Monty Montague and his tour around France doesn't just end in France though they go to Spain they go to Greece I'm sure they go to other places as well I've just oh Italy as well so yeah they kind of like travel like a little bit of Europe and he does this with his best friend Percy who he's in love with and Felicity his sister who is a badass. I love this because of the representation Monty is a bisexual main character Percy is black and you know relationships and um, Felicity is just a badass so yeah this is literally like one of my favorite books ever I cannot recommend it enough go read it the next book is a classic much like Simon vs the Homo sapiens agenda and that is Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe by Benjamin Elias Sanez I hope that I pronounced that right. So I listened to the audiobook of this because it was read by Lynn manuel Miranda who I absolutely adore if you guys couldn't tell. I have a bit of a Hamilton obsession. But yes, so I read this and it is so cute. Both Aristotle and Dante are Latinx. Aristotle is bisexual and I think Dante's gay. And it's just like their love story and their them meeting each other and going out in Aristotle's truck and just being boys and enjoying their lives together and it's just so heartwarming and apparently we're getting a film of it soon which I will be the first in line and um, a sequel as well I'm led to believe so if you haven't read this already go and check it out because it's so heckin cute finally we are on the last book and if you guys couldn't guess from previous videos then you need to start brushing up on me and how well you know me because this list would not be complete without The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. This is more, literally like probably my all time favorite book. I'm absolutely obsessed with Greek mythology and this book just is Greek mythology and gayness, so yes. So it is based off the Iliad, which was written by Homer in, I think, the 7th century BC? I wrote my dissertation on this book so I should know. And that, the Iliad, which is separate to the Song of Achilles, so not this book, is about the Trojan War and how it started and how it ended. And if you don't know the story, I really am sorry. But yes, the Song of Achilles is kind of the same story. However, this follows the character of Patroclus, who is Achilles' best friend in the Iliad. There has always been hints throughout the Iliad and throughout history as well with like Greek philosophers saying that they reckon that Achilles and Patroclus were a little bit more in love with each other than Homer led us to believe because there are little little things in it that the characters do that you just wouldn't do if it was just your best friend. So the Song of Achilles kind of follows that take. Patroclus is a young prince who gets exiled because he's very clumsy and is just an adorable fool and 
he's exiled to the kingdom of King Peleus, who is the father of the one and only Achilles. Um, so they kind of grow up together and they are best friends, but they are far more than best friends. This book is heartbreaking. If you don't know the story, oh my god, <laughs> I, I can literally feel like tears in my eyes thinking about this. I'm going to be rereading this soon so I can do like a spoiler review about it because I just, I could talk about this book forever. Um, <laughs> it's poetic, the writing style is incredible. Um, it tugs at your heartstrings a lot, a lot more than any of the other books that I have discussed. So if you're into sad books, this is the book for you. Um, I just don't really have words to describe this book. I know how much I love it. Just go, just go read it, read it, read it. It's so cute. I love it. <laughs> so that is it for this video it is a long video so i'm gonna have fun editing it down thank you all so much for watching if you have any other lgbt recommendations for me leave some little comments down below i also have multiple other books that i have got copies of um, that are about LGBT people and I need to knuckle down and read them but I'd rather reread Carry On and The Song of Achilles and cry about everything so you know we'll see what happens I may add more to this list and do another video very soon so yes, thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you think of any of the books. If you have read them, if you disagree with my opinions, I would love to hear what you guys think. And like I said, let me know if you have any other recommendations. Um, I'll let you know if I have them on my bookcase or not. I probably do. So yeah that's it for this week um oh i had a plan to like start this video by waving my little rainbow flag and i just forgot should we do it now why not <laughs> so yes thank you guys for watching be sure to comment like subscribe and share and spread the gay joy and I'll see you guys in my next video if you want me to do anything in particular please let me know because I'm always ready for new ideas so yes bye